You no mess with Lo Wang. You guys. I'm offensive and I find this Asian. Welcome everybody to Let's Play Shadow Warrior. You're all gonna enjoy watching me play with my Wang. This is Execute. And if you don't know what the fuck I mean by playing with my Wang, take a good long look at that handsome man there. That is Lo Wang. He is the hero of this game. I want you to take every single ridiculous Asian stereotype you can possibly think of. Now smash them all together. Now put them in a game. This is that game. It was released in 1997 by 3D Realms on the build engine. The same engine that fucking hosts the game Duke Nukem 3D. Maybe you've heard of it. Another game involving this uh, fucking title was released this year, but my understanding is you don't play as Wang. Fucking shame. But anyway, let's get started. Difficult is as follows. Tiny Grasshopper for easy. I have no fear for medium. Who wants Wang for hard? And as tempting as that fucking difficulty name is, we're going to be going on the hardest, which is no pain, no gain. Let's get into it. No pain, no gain. Zilla sins his regards for Wang. Right, before absolutely anything, it wouldn't be a build engine game without something randomly blowing up. It's like their fucking signature. So, we play as Lo Wang. Lo Wang will be the hero of this game. We start out in Lo Wang's Dojo of Death. Fancy fucking name. And we start out with three weapons. Uh, yeah, specifically three. We start out with the Fists of Fury that I'm currently wielding. But I would suggest you not punch walls with it because you will damage yourself. You also start with a sword. I like sword. That's a personal weapon. You will not damage yourself by hitting shit with a sword, obviously. It's stronger, but it's slower than the Fists of Fury, so take your pick. Whichever one you want to use is up to you. You also start with 30 shurikens, but you throw them three at a time, so really you start with 10. Think of it as the pistol with less shots. And by pistol, I mean the pistol from Doom. I'll treat this game just like Doom. Every time I start a new map, I'll ditch all my weapons except for the starters. Oh, and uh, excuse plot, Zilla's a dick. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's start by getting a secret, though. Yeah, it's a nuclear frickin' warhead right off the bat. Ancient Chinese secret. You know you found a secret in this game because Wang will say something incredibly racist. <laughs> Let me tell you why I love Lo Wang. Lo, I've never met a video game character who is as happy to be in a fucking game as this motherfucker. He's so happy to be here. Bonsai! Case in point, when's the last time you heard Doom Guy shout out fucking Bonsai when he picked up a weapon? Never. Anyway, speaking of weapons, let's also grab an item. This is a uh, gas bomb. I think. Yeah, gas bomb. Okay, gas bomb. You can throw it, and the gas is very damaging. It actually, it actually lasts for fucking ever. Okay, it doesn't quite last forever, but it lasts a very fucking long time. And yes, you can damage yourself. We cannot enter this door. We need a gold key. Let's go get that gold key. This is a medikit. 20 health if you pick it up. There are also fortune cookies, which will give you 50, and will give you a, fa a funky little random message on the screen. Some of which are pretty fucking funny, but, uh... Let's gun down all the fucking ninjas in here without Uzi. Yeah, they've got Uzis too, and they can also throw shurikens just like us. There are other kinds of ninjas, some... And... Think of these as the fodder ninja. Every other ninja is incredibly fucking dangerous on this skill. I'd explain this ghost, but he's doing a great fucking job killing himself in the gas. Dumb motherfucker. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna need a silver key to get through this fucking door. In fact, we don't even need to because we'll be in there before we get the silver key anyway. Alright, the gas is gone. You can see the gold key on top of this crate. Let's also grab this smoke bomb. Flash bomb, my bad. There is actually an item called the smoke bomb. It's a totally different thing. Think of this like a flashbang. You use it, everything on the screen is currently blinded. Or I should say, periodically blinded. Anyway, let's hop up there and grab that gold key, because we're going to fucking need it. Just with regards to the flash bomb real quick, just bear in mind, some enemies also have them, and they can do the same shit to you, so just, just be wary of that. It makes it incredibly easy to fucking gun down. Voila. Now, as you can see, there's us. That's no ordinary wang. No, it's not. That is a mighty wang. That is my fucking wang. Oh, uh, this fucking Let's Play is going to have so many cock jokes in it. Be proud, Mr. Wu. I love that fucking John Wu reference. Yeah, you can do with the Uzi. 
Uzi has to reload every uh, fucking 50 shots, but if you want to, it's every 100 shots. But it's fucking weird because it, it only reloads if it gets to that specific point of ammunition. Now, the portable medicate we just picked up. If you've ever played Doom Nukem 3D, then you know how it works. It's the same goddamn thing. But if you haven't, um, you can use it anytime you want and it will restore you to 100 health and use the fucking charge on it. Ancient Chinese secret. Two more weapons from this room as well as some health. First of all, grenade launcher. I'll probably blow up my fucking wang sooner or later. And my favorite weapon, the sticky bombs. Kawabunga. Sticky bombs are so fucking fun. Also, if you're curious as to what this, uh, this is referencing, just look up the uh, Singapore Singaporean caning incident with Michael Fay. Anyway, we have a gold key, as well as a whole bunch of shit to fucking carry around now, which I'm gonna ditch when I fucking finish this level. Let's open this fucker up. Have some grenades. Who wants some wang? That is the game's fucking slogan. And that is what makes this an amazing fucking game. Alright, now that we're inside, we have a couple of options, but we're gonna start by getting a new weapon. It's the, um, it's this game's version of a shotgun. You can find it up here. <laughs> it's the best fucking weapon collection sound ever. Alright, the riot gun. Has to, f uh, has four shots, then it has to reload. You can fire it slowly, like this. Or, you can send it to its alternate, which fires very quickly. Kind of like Turok Rage Wars' Street Sweeper. Now these ghosts, uh, sometimes you'll find them just kind of fucking around by themselves. They can also spawn from certain other enemies when you kill them. Now, let's fucking go on this little baggage shoot. Cut you up good, cocksucker. That is armor. Two kinds of armor vests in this game. One gives you 50 armor, one gives you 100. Don't need the Uzi ammo. Let's keep following this fucking baggage shoot. Get our sticky bombs ready, though. I got some presents for you, boys. I love the shit he has to say when you actually manage to hit an enemy with a sticky grenade. This is not a show I just like what he has to fucking say in general. This man is my fucking hero. Alright, let's loot everything from this fucking room. More sticky bombs. Now, there's a secret in this room, but more uh, more importantly, I want you to check out the soup special. We've got shark fin soup and cream of some young guy. Hmm. Seriously, every fucking ridiculous Asian stereotype is here. There's our first fortune cookie. Whatever health you've got, it will give you 50 extra, up to a maximum of 200. Ancient Chinese secret. Fortune say you should kill all business associates. Well, it's a good fucking thing I'm not a YouTube partner then. <laughs> Another weapon for us here. Missile launcher. <laughs> it's gonna fucking get me every time. Alright, the missile launcher. Fires rockets. Can also get a heat seeker card to make it fire homing rockets. Can also load it with a nuclear frickin' bomb to fire a huge explosion that will most likely kill you. Three, two, one. All systems ready. It is good day to die. It most certainly is, but I'm not gonna fucking fire it here, because that would be stupid. I need to warn you guys all about the fucking nuclear frickin' bomb. You can only carry one at a time, and its explosion radius is MASSIVE. Don't fucking underestimate the size of it. Now, let me just fucking drive this little fucking speed racer over to there. The relevance of doing that will become clear in a few minutes. Uh, we don't need to do anything else down here. Let's hop back up the chute. Alright, we're back in the first room. Let's actually... Oh, right, there's another fucking secret here. Although it's a bit of a... Ancient Chinese secret. It's a bit of a bastard to make that jump to it. You have to strafe jump it. Choke on that, you fuckwit. Right. Let's grab a fucking smoke bomb. The smoke bomb... Think of it like the invisibility spear from Doom. Except good, because the enemies really fucking have a bastard of a time fucking targeting you when you have it active. It's a duration-based item, too. There's another item under here. This is the Caltrops. Caltrops are actually a real thing. By definition, a Caltrop is a little series of spikes that you can toss on the ground. Just like that. And anything that steps on them, including you, you know, will take rather heavy damage from it. Although I, li I like to step on them myself because I love the way my character complains about stepping on one. 
Evidently my Wang does not fucking like spikes, who'd have thunk it? That was my bad Wang, I apologize. You're gonna get f uh, I swear to god I am gonna fucking blow up my Wang. Look, you have a new friend! <laughs> that dude was a uh, I think I think they're called Cooley. They're basically carrying around huge Chinese secret. Huge fucking boxes of TNT and they will dash towards you if you get too close and they will blow the fuck up and Unless you have over hundred health, they're most likely gonna fucking kill you. And considering that all they they are is just a bloke carrying a box of TNT, they have a surprisingly fucking high amount of health. As for the ghosts, the ghosts will just fucking phase in and out and be annoying and toss the occasional projectile. They're not that dangerous. More of a nuisance enemy than anything. Especially since their projectile is so easy to fucking dodge. I just wish they'd stop fucking phasing out. That's so annoying. Go speed racer, go! Ah, historic. You don't actually have to fuck with these cars, you had to fuck with one on the camera just to get the silver key. So I'll be taking this. And there's one more thing, there's a fortune cookie hidden behind there. Open it up using this machine. Let's grab it. Ancient Chinese secret. Fortune say you should not scratch yourself there. Fuck you, I'll scratch myself wherever I want. Piece of shit, fortune cookie. Alright, now that we have the silver key, this is the only door that's necessary to open with it. Through this way. Guarded by a fuck ton of ninja, you'll find some train tracks. And some night vision goggles. Night vision goggles are like Duke with 3Ds, they don't really illum illuminate the surroundings, just just the enemies. Now, let's say we fucking use this smoke bomb. I am the Shadow Warrior. As I said, it's a duration based item, while you have it active, shit can't properly target you. Like this fucking invisible pair of invisible schmucks I'm shooting. And make no mistake. These are the most fucking dangerous ninjas there are. They have this really fucking devastating ranged attack. Still, having a smoke bomb makes them a joke. You didn't think I fucking forgot about you, buddy, did you? Hate Sega card is what I've already explained. It will give you five homing rockets. You can switch between modes on your rocket launcher, including the nuclear frickin' bomb. Just by pressing the rocket launcher key again. Now, speaking of the nuclear frickin' bomb, I'm sure you've all been waiting for it. We're gonna use it now to blow up that fuck with of a turret. I told you the fucking explosion explosion radius is massive. That hit me anyway. Mind the train. All right, the exit's actually in that fucking train. Right, I forgot this guy fucking spawns behind me. Well, that's our first fucking death because this pussy fucked up my wang. I'll see you all again when I get back to this p section of level. Three, two, one. <laughs> Alright, here's the plan. I'm gonna melt everything up ahead and then run back and set a trap. Warning. Bombs the fuck away. Alright, I think this is about the spot where he spawns, so let's just sticky bomb the shit out of it. And now we wait. Okay, well, I, I, I mined the wrong spot, but he ran into it anyway, so fine. That works for me too. Anyway, as I was saying before that pussy last time fucked up my wang, the exit is in the train. Just bear in mind when you run in here, it's filled with these exploding nitwits. So unless you want your wang blown the fuck up, clear it the fuck out first. A gas bomb is really good for this. Bear in mind though, when these guys die, they can spawn a ghost. Also, trying to melee these guys is a really fucking stupid idea. I hope I don't have to explain why it's a stupid idea. Yeah, you see that? They can fucking spawn ghosts. Which... Which is a bitch. Alright, so that would be... Uh, sorry, my bad. That will be the exit of this level. The exit symbol is, like, is a yin-yang. With a bullet hole through for some reason. So, what I'm going to do... Every time I beat a level, I will also record a run where I'm playing at my fucking absolute best and not doing commentary. I'll put different music over it as well. When you finish a level, you know, you can see the fucking... the time you took, how many secrets you got, how many kills you did, blah blah blah, all that standard stuff. So now you know what this fucking... now you know what we're in for with this fucking game. Ridiculous Asian stereotypes, awesome weapons, nuclear frickin' bombs. Fucking love this game. 
Thanks for watching. This has been Execute. Take care. Stay safe. Fuck ya. Oh, better zip fly. Zero sins as regards Lo Wang. You're no mess with Lo Wang. Ancient Chinese secret. Ancient Chinese.